What's going on, everyone, and welcome to Movie Emporium's TV review of the second part of the Netflix original series of Selena, the series. Now, before we begin, if you like this channel, awesome, hit the subscribe button and join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next. If you like this video, awesome, hit that like button, and as always, comment below on any video to watch, including this one. Okay, so it's been uh, it's been a few months since the first part of this series released in, uh, on Netflix. Um, it was a series that I honestly enjoyed the first part of. I'm not going to lie. I gave it a pretty decent score. I think of like an 8 or whatever. But the one thing I didn't realize, the one thing I didn't expect is that people really hated the series. And I don't, I don't like begrudge anyone for that. It was just really kind of a shock because I thought this was a series that people really were going to enjoy. But I get it. I understand it. It's a series that, you know, sometimes doesn't hit its mark. It's very melodramatic in a lot of aspects. And sometimes hits into the very soap opera-ish type world. Uh, especially with some of the characters and how they act and stuff like that. I, I went back and rewatched it and I can kind of understand and see that. So part two, honestly... It's literally part one continued. It really is. It's literally the f a season of television chopped up into two parts. Nobody's really different. Nobody's really, you know, anything more outlandish or anything from the first part. If you like the first part, you'll love the second part. If you hate the first part, you're going to hate the second part. We, But the second part is basically the after effect of becoming a superstar, becoming one of the biggest pop stars in the Latina world that Selena became at a young age of 20 to 23 years old, you know, eventually until her point where she passed and was killed unjustifiably by Yolanda, who is actually introduced in this second part as her fan club attendant slash boutique uh, runner and... Uh, we start seeing like how the superstardom starts to affect the people around her. You know, she eventually marries Chris, which is something that you should see coming if you know anything about Selena. Her boutiques come into effect. We see, you know, basically Suzette and AB starting to struggle under the weight of her success. AB is trying to struggle is struggling because she needs to create, you know, songs and stuff like that. And it's you know very much a a detriment to his own family's you know health and stuff like that and it basically shows that you know when somebody becomes successful unless you're willing to put up in the time and possibly you know of the angst of your family it's going to ruin it's going to strain it's going to stretch the boundaries of what could be possible of the human body and stuff like that and we see it when she gets tasked to be do her own solo album we see, you know, the boutique stuff, like I said, how that affects it. Um, there's whole episodes that, you know, delve into just the idea of what it's like to be a superstar. You know, people come up and want to get pictures of her and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's not great. <laughs> I'll be fairly honest. Like, they try real hard in the season or part two to really show the strains of it. But it's so dramatic. It's like so melodramatic and so soap opera-ish in a lot of aspects that it almost feels laughable in a lot of ways. Like even the Yolanda character, who you're supposed to take super serious because of what she is going to do as the series ends. Like I said, I was only given part seven, so I was never able to get that far. But that was because, you know, whatever it is. You know, it's just... When you when you have characters like that and they're like in the background, you can just like tell they're giving you like menacing. It just it doesn't work. It really doesn't. And like some of the songs and stuff like that are fun. They're entertaining. They really do try to be respectful of Selena, but sometimes it just doesn't work. Sometimes the after effects don't work. The commitment and the try and you know some of these characters are just kind of afterthoughts. You know I thought. Um, Sadie Lopez, who plays Marcella, who's the mother, is more of just there to push her husband into a much more understanding route, and she doesn't really get much to do in this part, too, to be fairly honest. Ricardo Chavira, who plays Abraham, is, like I said, he's just, he's like a soft puppy dog now, and it just... I miss I miss the more more stern individual in the first part, which is why I think I liked the first part more because I thought it was you know a very interesting kind of look into a, a very power very uh, important woman in the world of female uh, musicians. And I do think Christina Serratos is pretty great as Selena, but sometimes she's like a little bubblegummy, a little uh, you know uh, you know happy and smiley. And I know that's probably what Selena was like, but it's just. Overall, it just is fine. It really is. And I know I'm kind of like, you know, whatever, but it's it's a series that really tries hard to be respectful, but just falls on its face for being a little too over the top, 
a little too melodramatic, you know, when the arguments start happening and the, the stretching of the human body and mind and spirit start happening, you start to get a little cringy and groan worthy and it, it's, it is what it is. And, you know, it's a series that I was hoping it could have been a lot better, but overall the second part is fine. It really is. But like I said, if you love the first part, you might like the second part. I don't know. Like I said, I love the first part when I first saw it. Not a big fan of the second part. It's pretty crazy. But if you really hated the first part, you are not going to like the second part. It's just the unfortunate nature of, you know, watching a series that wasn't well liked. So, but with that said, that's going to be my official take on part two of Selena. Like I said, not missing out on the last three episodes is not going to change my opinion because I think if this is the way the series is going, you know, in the aspect of handling the uh, idea of Selena, I worry that the conclusion with her eventual death death is going to be a little cringeworthy a little too weird and uh it's probably not going to be well liked by the population that really hated the first part so but uh we'll see how it ends like i said it comes out may 4th so the entire part two so we'll see how uh, people enjoy it if they do if they're not i wouldn't be surprised so but anyways that's it that's my take on part two of Selena the series. Um, if I were to give it a grade, I'd probably give it, you know, a six and a half out of ten. It has some redeeming stuff, some fun moments, but overall, I just can't hold up against the weight of, you know, something like the Jennifer Lopez Selena movie. So, but with that said, uh, you know, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the series. Did you like part two? Did you hate part two? All that good stuff. Tell me what you think about it. But otherwise, if you like what you see on this channel, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell at the top to find out coming next. If you like this video, awesome. Hit that like button. And as always, we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.